For the Android developers watching, Ktor is a web backend framework. It uses primarily Kotlin. You use Kotlin to create the backend framework. It's very similar to that of Node.js. I think this is very beneficial for Android developers, specifically um, freelancers and startup Android developers. Mainly because with startups and freelancing, you're often wearing many hats. What I mean by that is you're, for a small company or freelancing, you often do small businesses, often. And what happens is a person hires a Android developer and they have them do the Android app and then they want to do a little bit of the back end if they know it. And it's okay to only know Android development, you'll, you'll do really nice, but you should know a little bit of back end web development as well because it does come up um, um, every once in a while, not, not every day, but every once in a while. And with Ktor, you're able to code in Kotlin. So you are only using one language. So if you're creating Android apps with, with purely Kotlin, and then you create a Kotlin backend framework, you're going to be a pro at that one language if you only use that one language. There is no learning curve with the two languages. There is no, um, when you, when you create a, um, uh, a, a Android app with Java or Kotlin and then do a Ruby on Rails web app or something, you're switching from the programming language. And even though you know Ruby, you kind of have to relearn Ruby, even though if you've been doing Ruby development for years, just that switch, because you don't do web backend development very often for Android and having the same language is very beneficial because you're not going to be doing it for that often. You don't want to forget the language. You're only going to remember something if you do it often. That's why I recommend if you're doing Android development, um, do the backend development. If you need to do web development, do it. try to do it in the same language or a language that's very, very similar. Because you're not going to be doing it often. You don't want to forget the language. You don't want to forget things. With Ktor, it's very simple. Uh, it's a lot more simple than Node.js because all the features are stripped down. Uh, and yeah, I recommend it because it's the same language as developing for Android with Kotlin.